right, everybody. Hey, it's the Ride Share Reseller, Mike. It's Saturday. We did a little bit of garage sale and some savers. Garage sales were, eh. We have not hit garage sale season here. It's been brutal. So I don't know if everybody is still afraid of putting them on or if everybody is just waiting. I have no idea. So, you know, you're probably having better luck at garage sales than me. So anyhow... We're going to take a look at a few things that we picked up, and at the end, maybe I'll put in a couple of sold items also. I got hay fever. It's been terrible here. Everything's blooming, so there might be some cuts in here because I might be sneezing pretty soon. All right, let's take a look. All right, first off, the best item of the day. The best item, best item. There it is. There it is. 49ers, number one. All right, number one. Paid two bucks. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I think I can sell it locally or I can put it on. <laughs> I can put it on eBay, but uh, it's cool. I have sold the Sharks one uh, uh, prior for about 35. So two bucks, you know, we'll see what we get with that, but always kind of cool. Throw that aside. Uh, last pick of the day, I, was, I had to go to Home Depot to get some storage tubs because of my books have been like, been crazy i'm really happy with what's going on with my books but uh, i needed a few more bins just to kind of organize and on the way out I, there was a late garage sale at like 3 30 this guy had all kinds of stuff but i only came away with one item another canon g10 if you saw my video prior uh my friend robert he got a g10 and it was in that lot but i found this one it uh can't test it the battery don't work so i have to see it i can't remember if he had a charger or not so this could be kind of interesting. We're going to have two, uh, uh, sorry, this is a G10. What is this? This is a G12. A G12, I think. So anyhow, hopefully I didn't say G10. If you had batteries and it was tested, 125 to 150. Pretty good spot for this one. This is not 35 millimeter. It is digital. So, but it's a good digital. It's heavy. Like I said, when you pick them up, you can feel the weight of them. This was a very good one. All right, garage sale item. See me do it all the time. Golf clubs, putters, drivers, wedges, sets. This one here is by Odyssey. Can't flip it upside down. Hit the, hits the thing. Maybe I can do it this way. There you go. Odyssey. This is an older one and uh, paid $2 for this and it will get anywhere from 25 to about 32. Not a big seller, but I know it's gonna sell, so it's a, it's a quick flip. So again, golf clubs. All right, uh, we're just gonna keep picking our way around. Here is a garage sale find, <laughs> and this is some first issues. A lot of them, there's a bunch in this. I think there's 300 in this. I'm not positive, but I counted them, I thought. I could be wrong, but you can see first issue stamps, first day of issue, you know, um, 1960s, very well taken care of, uh, all 1960s, 61. It looks like this was kind of chronological order too, 63, 64. Uh, there's a 59 out of order. So kind of kind of different. I have to look it up a little more. Um, generally speaking, they're not they're not fantastic, but I got some more. So I got that book full. Then I got this entire thing full of them. So there's quite a few in here. You know, some first first day of issues uh, honoring the United States achievements in space. So quite a few. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can pull anything else out. I think it was Eisenhower. There's Eisenhower. Guy that would really know this <clears throat> would be the auction professor. That guy's good. He would know a lot about this stuff. But he always says get it and try to get it for as cheap as you can. But it's kind of hard to get it for as cheap as you can uh, nowadays. Uh, plus, I got another bin. So there's three. There's quite a few. There's another one down here um, of first issues whole another whole another box so i got two boxes and a binder and i paid 40 40 for it all 
Uh, so we'll see. Um, for sure, it'll probably end up being lotted and sold that way. I know for sure it's more than $40 value, so we'll go from there. Not sure of the overall value, um, but we'll, as soon as we sell it, we'll let you know. I'm going to put this down on the ground. All right, let's let's uh, let's do a couple books. I love garage sales for books. Um, I will put these up to show you the value. They paid a dollar for each one. There's book number one. This guy is going to net me $111. This guy, number two, I think he's 35. I'm not positive, but this is kind of H.R. Giggers. 1964-1984 retrospective, and uh, I don't know, he's got some pretty strange stuff, uh, some more strange stuff, but this is the kind of stuff that, uh, here's some 1976 stuff that he was doing, this is the kind of book that uh, sells really well and gets good money. I got five books and I paid five dollars and I'm gonna get a net profit of about two hundred dollars. There's another one, the drawing book. Uh, Santa Dazio, da, Dorazio, uh, I don't know, but it's about eight dollars. And then this one here is Mariachi Samurai. And a very interesting book. You know, just kind of, kind of cool stuff out there. But I find all this stuff at, at garage sales all day long. Uh, I love finding books there because you'll find them more of these coffee table, like these books, these bigger books that really can go for some good money. And they people are just wanting to get rid of them. They're just too big. They don't want them anymore. A buck, and you got it. All right. Savers find. Plantronics. A good name in all of this stuff. This is clear HD sound, Plantronics headphone, especially with everybody at home today. They're all needing this kind of stuff. So this is $8, again, minus the 20%, $8. This guy will get me about $59, brand new. So easy flip, easy, easy flip. Can't sell it on Amazon, checked it, gated on Amazon. It's weird how you're gated on so many things. It's frustrating, and the process is just not worth it. It just takes too long, and um, I'm just, you know, I'll just keep doing what I do and make some money uh, and be happy about it. It's just crazy, though. If you really want to sell Amazon, it's not easy, especially if you're gated in many, many categories. But those allergies, aren't they great? All right, let's take a look here. Take a look at this. This is cool. I'm not afraid of this kind of stuff. Look at that. That is so cool. That is uh, color track. TV, I think it's RCA, so I remember. RCA, yep, RCA color track. Has a little space age look to it. I think it's an 11 or 12, 13 inch screen. Three bucks. It works, it turns on. And it's not, look at it. I'm holding it, you can see, it's not that heavy. Um, one just sold for over 100. There goes the camera shaking. One just sold for over 100. I'm thinking I'm gonna get about 75, roughly 75. Three into 75 plus the shipping, and that's not bad. That's not a bad shipment, shipping item. I can do that pretty darn easily with the way I ship things. All right, uh, let's dig back here. This came out of the book sale, the, the uh, garage sale. And this, you look for these things. This is Mac, you spin it around, Mac. And for the ladies, they know that that is makeup. This is a, I can't remember what they call it, but it's a triple tier. Uh, case and it opens up and it folds up. It's kind of like a fishing tackle box but for makeup. And there it is. I'll try to back up a little bit there. That's what it looks like. It's by Mac. I paid 10 bucks for it. I'll clean it up, make it look nice. This is going to be an easy 100 bucks. So an easy $100 flip on this particular item. Maybe more. I don't know. But I know it's at least 100 uh, so I got that and the books for $15. So the books are going to get me 200 This is going to get me 100 So my 15 is going to be 300 when it's said and done. All right. Let's spin around here. We got, got a few more. We got, they did pretty good, like I said. And this is right up my alley, too. I love 
woodworking. You know I owned a furniture store. There we go. Nice. This is really, really cool. This is a index oak filing cabinet, two drawer. When I saw it, I knew I wanted it. Oh, hold on, don't drop it. See if I can show you some of the detail. Now the top, it's got watermarks and I'm not too worried. Look at I paid. Is it $4.99? There you go. Interesting, right? But look at the workmanship. It's quarter sawn oak. You can figure, you see it. Some people call it tiger oak. Quarter sawn oak, solid. And then if you look, you'll see the dovetails. See the little dovetails? Let me see if I can get there. All those dovetail joinery. Let's see if we can tip it this way and show you better too. You kind of can see the dovetails all right in there. Amazing workmanship. This is what you got back in the day. Quality. This thing has been around for who knows how long, and it's it's surviving. I mean, even the drawers are solid. Look at the drawer dovetails. Dovetails on the drawer. It's just amazing. I love this kind of stuff. This, if you get a four-drawer one, you can get 250 bucks. This is going to get me at least 100 At least $100. All right, we've got a couple more guns. One, two, three more items. I finally found something I've been looking for. And the darn thing is missing a button. <laughs> it's like you find it, but it's missing a button. All right, there it is. It's a flip phone, Panasonic, but it's missing the button. But I only paid, I think it was $3.99 there. It was $3.99. <laughs> Powered it on, it works. I had one of these similar when I was a kid, the little, where the, what we talk about flip phones, the, our flip, did I say phone? How about flip clock? Or, okay. <laughs> and it, the, the numbers drop, they flip, they drop down. Very, very cool. These, when you get them working, if I would have had that knob, I, I'm almost positive 80 to 100. There was a comp of 79, but this one is otherwise is in perfect condition. It's just missing the knob. So I got to try to figure out something for that or I'm going to have to sell it without knob. Bummer, but I found it. All right, some more electronics. This is me. When you pay $7.99, $7.99, JVC dual cassette. What's great is I didn't have to go to my car. Somebody had left two tapes in here so I could play it and it works. Uh, not a great, great dollar find, but it'll get me 60 to 75 plus shipping. So yeah, I'm not, again, not afraid. It's not, it's not as big as you think. Look, I'm holding it with one hand. So it's pretty, it's fairly light. It does require a little bit of a box. Very, very cool. All right. I didn't say we saved the best for last, but we will show you the kind of things that we all kind of like to look for. Careful here. Okay. On the wall at Savers, if you've ever been to a Savers, they just have bags along the wall. Well, this was coming out. It didn't even hit the wall. It was in a cart. And then I reached in and I, I saw these. Okay. Little bears. There's like four of them. I'll try to show you the other two. I'll show you what I paid in a second. Two more little bears. And they're signed on the bottom and they're signed uh paul dorothy santa clara santa clara is a city by me so I, i've got to do a little more research on it just to, to see if that's who that is but these four bears okay just as you see them and there's the bag i took them out of the bag 3.99 we don't know but we think me and my friend we think these guys will get us 500 maybe higher there's a lot so these little bears there's a there's one that sold for 154 um so that'll be kind of interesting to see who knows we'll see we'll maybe we'll run an auction on these and uh hopefully we'll get lucky um or we'll just do them individually and see what happens that way too very very cool what else anything else is that it guys that's it, not a bad day, a pretty good day. Even though um, the garage sales were the pits, uh, savers came through in the end with a bunch of stuff. All right, so now I'm gonna clear my head and we'll come back and show you some stuff that sold. Be right back. All right, we're gonna show you what's sold. 
but I forgot one item. It's right down by my feet. That's why. This thing's huge. Wait till you see this thing. This is cool, though. Oh, my gosh. Okay, ready? One, two. Don't break it. One, two, three. There you go. That is John Deere. John Deere RC tractor. Yep. Check that out. That's so cool, huh? Look at the front end there. There it is. Let's straighten it out. Yep. John Deere tractor. And uh, paid five bucks at a garage sale. Five dollars. So five dollars. No remote. I mean, uh, yeah. No, uh, no remote controller, I should say. I didn't care. Five bucks. It just... You look at it and you go, there's some money there. Those things brand new, $3.95 and higher. Uh, used, I've seen a 150 to 190 probably where we're going to be. Uh, shipping's going to be fun on that one. That one will be a challenge. Uh, I'll get it done, but it'll probably be a two-box slider on top. I might be, maybe, who knows, maybe I'll make a video with showing that. Who, we'll see. So we got that. So again... You know, always forgetting something. It's, you can just hear it. My hay fever is just like off the charts. Just killing me today. All right, let's do some solds. All right, up first is a local pickup off of eBay. This was sold off of eBay. It was the Pilates machine. I don't know if you saw the video or if I put it on video. It'll pop up probably down below here. And I sold it for 120 I paid 29 minus 30% because I got it on senior day. So I paid about $20 at Savers. <laughs> Sold for $120 and there's no shipping because it's local pickup. She's going to pick it up. All right, next up is the Minolta Diamage Negative Scanner. Okay. These are usually really solid, especially you've got to have the two negative trays that hold the slides or the 35 millimeter film. Sold for $93 and $24.95 shipping. It's going to Russia. So that person probably ended up paying, who knows, probably $200 total by the time fees and other shipping is done. You know, places like that, they need that kind of stuff. You know, it's not easy for them to get that. So I'm not afraid of the global shipping program. I will not send collectibles, that kind of stuff, uh, to them. I will not send big receivers to them. No. Something like this, I'm willing to take a little bit of a risk and ship it via global shipping. So if you're not, you're probably losing some money because there's a lot of good people on the global shipping. You don't know how many times I have wanted to stop shipping globally when you've got a problem and you go, oh, now how do I get it back? It, there's been a few of those, right? So you always remember those few negative things, right? It's kind of like life. How come we always seem to remember the negative and, and there's 99.9% .9 of the stuff that happens to us is great, yet the 1% we always seem to dwell on, right? So it's, it's kind of a weird thing, human nature, right? All right, up next, you saw my album video. You saw that I sold the Willie album. The Willie album sold for $30 plus the $3.95 shipping. And uh, that was a good one. And I paid like, I can't remember how many albums. Did I get about 50, right? 50 albums. And we paid, so we had some, we paid about $88, I think, for all of them, somewhere in that range. So let's call it 100 just for 100 to, just to round it off. I sold that one for 30 And the next one, you're going to see another one. We sold Johnny Cash live at Folsom Prison. We sold for 25 So right there is 55 So we told, sold two albums for 55 You know, think about that, right? After another couple sales and... The rest of the albums are uh, basically uh, free to go. Um, next one up is the uh, Titleist Driver. And a Titleist Driver sold for $174.97 and $12.95 shipping. I'm telling you again, over and over, but the golf clubs are good. And uh, this one here, I, ha I had people all over the map, you know, 120, 130. You get to a point where in your picking you don't have to worry about that you just let it sit golf season is just now starting especially on the east coast so you really don't have to worry about it you just kind of uh let it uh let it sit there for a little while and simmer it doesn't take up much room it sits in the rafters in my garage you know i'll just wait it out and then i got my money 174 97 and 12.95 shipping all right thanks for watching guys
Um, hopefully we'll see you soon. Get rid of this hay fever. All right. Thanks again. See you soon.